What's up, insiders? Got something a little different for you today. Today, we're going to be going over a charger. We're talking about the X-Star ST2 charger. This thing can charge two batteries in 30 minutes. What? Yeah, make sure you check it out down low. Before we get into the video, make sure you check out our new merch site. You can get my tagline on a shirt or a hoodie. This is a two-bay charger. All right, you'll notice these little chrome pieces right here. What those are, those are heat sensors, right? That's going to measure the temperature of your battery. They got battery orientation markings here. You're going to notice the negative side actually goes up against this part. That's a little different. We don't normally see that. These, these right here, these have a really short throw. Let me show you what I'm talking about. When you put an 18650 in there, you barely got to move it. To get it in there so that's kind of neat man you know you're not going to be able to put your smaller batteries in this 18650 is probably going to be the smallest you can fit in here it will handle a 21700 no problem at all it also handles 26650s as well it is definitely wide enough i really don't use 26650s no more but i have put them in here to test it out all right this is your screen here when I plug it in, we'll go over it in a minute. Real nice rubbery feel to it. It's nice and lightweight. They say that this is fire resistance, this, this coating. Um, you got a type C port right here. All right, now that's the thing. See, in order to get the most out of this battery charger, you need a type C, the type C brick, at least 60 watts. I just ordered one in order to be able to do this review, so I'm waiting on that. I should have that in the next day or two, and then I'm going to film that part. Here is your venting right here. On the back here, you do have some specs. You can pause it here if you want to read it, no problem. If we zoom out a little bit, you're going to see we have like rubber feet over here. You have five of them, as well as some venting and some more venting over here. It does stay on a desk very nicely. It really, you know, it doesn't slide around a lot. It stays on there pretty good. Uh, so far, I got to say, I'm very happy with it. I haven't been able to use it m for more than two amps, like I said, until I get that charger. Once I get that charging brick, I will show it to you. Now, I'm going to move this over a second, all right, because I did have another version of this okay and i use the hell out of this thing man i mean this thing is fantastic one of my favorite charges ever you know i wish it had more bays but i use this thing all the time this is the x star over four slim basically the same type of setup different color you know same type of setup here and this thing comes with this let me show it to you this thing comes with this massive brick right you know, that's why this is nice, but you can't travel with it because you got to pack that big brick. But that brick allows you to do each slot at 4.1 amps. About, now, I don't know how good that is for your battery as far as the life cycle goes. I'm just telling you, in a pinch, man, this thing can charge an 18650 fast. So I think they were going for the same thing with this, just without the brick. Now, the wires that you get are interesting as well, okay? Here is the Type-C to Type-C wire that you're going to get that I'm going to use in the 60-watt brick. And if you don't need that maximum charge capacity, you can go with the other wire that they give you. This is just a regular USB Type-C cable, okay? Both cables came together with the packaging. I got no box. I got no instructions. Like I said, this is a very, very early version that X-Star sent me. As soon as I get the brick to get this thing to work right, we're going to go over it with that brick. I've been using it without the 60-watt brick and just charging it, you know, via this cable right here. All right, so like I said early in the video, I had to buy a plug a 61 watt plug i got this on amazon for like 20 bucks right but i had to buy this in order to get this to charge at 4.1 amps on each bay and what this is is this is a type c connection right here all right type c to type c connection and only if you run a brick like this 
will you be able to run this at 4.1 volts? So I think that's a big con that XSTAR didn't include this type of brick in the packaging. I mean, all right, if it's going to be $20 more, it's going to be $20 more. Just put it all in one box so I could actually run this thing the way it's meant to be run, you know, and I can get the benefit out of the charger. But anyway, I purchased this at Amazon, 20 bucks. So I just want to let you know that. We're going to plug it in and I'm going to show you how it charges at 4.1 amps. Okay, so now the brick is plugged in. We're going to plug the Type-C connector in on this side right here. And we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see the screen. You can see it's already showing 4.1 amps, okay? The lights are green right there. We're going to install two, you know, batteries that are around 20% and I'll show you what happens. So here, put this one in and this one in. Now, you're going to notice too, it automatically reads the resistance when you first put a battery in, which I really like. That's kind of cool. All right. And then once it gets settled, it tells you what that battery's current charge is at. There is your current voltage and it tells you at what amps it's charging it at and the temperature 23 degrees Celsius. Now you can see it's charging both 18650s at 4.1 amps. So basically it's going to take about a half hour maybe even a little less since they're at 20%. I know from dead to full, it takes an 18650 about a half hour to fully charge up. You'll also notice the lights are red right now, okay? Once it's fully charged, it's gonna shut down and stop charging it, all right? Now, the other thing you can do right here is you can pick your amperage right here with these buttons. See, like now I could, I could go to one amp if I want to, I could go to two amps, or I could go to 4.1 amps whatever way you decide to charge your batteries. Now remember, when you're charging your batteries this fast, it's definitely gonna have a negative effect on the amount of cycles you get per battery. That's an individual choice. That's up to you whether you wanna charge them that fast or not. You know, in a pinch, this is a nice system to have. You know, this is gonna be my new travel charger, right? I'm gonna use that brick, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this cord, and, you know, I'm going to put this in my bag and take this with me when I go away to conventions and stuff because I can just easily and very quickly charge batteries. And I don't got to carry around a four bay or a six bay charger. So that's kind of cool. That's the way I'm going to use it at least. All right. Let me give you one last look at it all put together and charging. All right, insiders, we're back on top. Let's get into the cons and the pros. I only got one con for this thing, man. One con and one con only. Xstar, you can't sell this thing without a brick that is making it capable of doing the 4.1 amp charging. Now I know that brick is gonna increase the cost of this charger, but you gotta include it in the kit, that's ridiculous. All right, you know, I'll put the link down below to Amazon where I bought my brick, it was 20 bucks, and you'll get 4.1 amps out of each bay, but this thing should definitely be included in the kit, without a doubt. Charge me the extra money, but it's got to be included. And that's it on the cons. I got nothing else bad to say about this thing. Let's talk about the pros. First pro is going to be this thing goes Type-C to Type-C. That's a pro that gets you some extra juice, that gets you some more power and some more speed. It's a pro. 4.1 amps on two bays. <laughs> Beautiful. As soon as you put the battery in, it automatically tests the resistance. I like that. Pro. You can charge your 18650s in here, your 2700s, your 21700s, or your 26650s Pro. It's got temperature sensing, it has a beautiful display, and it's portable. All pros. I already mentioned it, this thing, just to give you some reference, at 4.1 amps, will charge two 18650s in 30 minutes. That's a big pro. It's got an intelligent detection system, so if there are any issues with your battery, it won't charge them. Safety first, that's a pro. The unit will cut off when everything is fully charged, pro. And another thing that this thing has is it's got an automatic OV activation system. And what that'll do is that'll take cells that you've over discharged, ones that you might not be able to revive, and this will revive them. That's kind of cool, man. I like that feature. It's a definite pro. So let's talk about this one a little bit. You already heard my big con. I think they should include the brick. If you use like a regular phone brick, like, like something from your cell phone, you know, and you, and you put it in there, they give you the wire for it. 
you'll get two amps at each bay, and that might be enough for some people. You know, that, that's fine. To be honest with you, I very rarely charge at 4.1 amps unless I'm in a pinch, because what it's gonna do is it's gonna ruin the cycle life of your battery. You're not gonna get as many cycles out of your battery, out of the lifetime of your battery, if you're continuously charging it at 4.1 amps. Most of the time I charge my batteries at 0.5 amps, one amps max sometimes, but most of the times I, I slow charge them because I think you get more use out of the battery when you do it that way. Some people are always in a rush, they'll appreciate the 4.1 amp charging, but just know you're not gonna get the same lifespan out of that battery as opposed to someone who charges at 0.5 amps. Let's go over some of the specs on the X-Star ST2 charger. It measures in at 75 by 33 by 149 millimeters. It has the following protections, short circuit, overcurrent, over voltage, and overheat protection. It is also made out of a fire retardant material. Thanks for watching the video, insiders. Definitely appreciate it. Remember, we're not a monetized channel, so we'd appreciate it if you check out our new merch store. You can get my tagline on a shirt like you see me wearing, or you can get it on a hoodie as well. We have some other great designs that you can put on a t-shirt or a hoodie. Here's another one of them, Vape King shirt. And here's one of my personal favorites, Vape So Hard, the FDA Wanna Find Me. Go over to our new store and check it out. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. You, keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.